It's the fiercest fighting yet in the battle for Abidjan. After UN and French intervention against his heavy weapons capabilities, Laurent Gbagbo's presidential palace has now come under sustained attack. His rival Alassane Ouattara's forces have launched the major assault to get Ivory Coast's reluctant to leave leader out of power once and for all. Gbagbo's whereabouts today are not known, but as pressure mounts, he may be negotiating his surrender according to the Watera camp. Backed by his loyalist forces, Bagbo has defied international pressure to go, despite UN-certified results showing Watera won November's presidential election. Having taken much of the rest of the country, Watera's forces have poured into Abidjan in a final push to oust him. At least 1,500 people have been killed since the violence began five months ago.